Hi everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I will be showing you guys how to get the full set of Zonate armor. So, let's get right into it. Okay, so, the first piece is going to be at the Zonate Forge Island. And so I already came here, before I knew that it was here. So I already unlocked that, but when you're, like, you want to come to this bottom piece where the ring is, then you can activate it and then it's gonna activate like all of these like it's gonna make a ton of gusts of wind that will take you to the top and then you're gonna have to jump through like a laser maze thing kind of so after you activate the shrine there's gonna be a little thing like right here that you're gonna want to Either use a fire hydrant or anything. But just want to throw something that will make a little obsidian platform. Then you're going to want to jump on the platform and ascend right into that hole. And when you come out, there's going to be a chest. And this chest will have a piece of the Zonate armor. It will be the Zonate waste guard. So now, I'll show you where the second piece is. Okay, so this next piece is going to be found in nearby Courage Island. It's like, let me see, it's, I think that island right there. And, okay, so I made it up here and you guys, once you guys make it up here, you guys will notice that it is low gravity. So, there, I stopped along a waterfall on the way, that's how I managed to make it. I had to make two stops and get some batteries out, but once you guys are here, you're going to want to activate this ring. And it's going to drain all of the water from this, like, big lake place. Once it like drowns all of the water um just you can go ahead and grab this stuff if you want to but you're gonna want to find the entrance to the cave which i think is on this side i have no idea but um It's right here. So I'm just gonna throw a bomb and I'm gonna take out this gun. Okay, so now you guys are just gonna go ahead and enter the gate. So this part might be a little bit tricky or annoying. I think I can light up the place. Yeah, so, you want to grab the mirrors, and then try and light everything up, and then just, like, line up all of the mirrors, just, uh, straight there. And then just line up every single mirror that you can... Find um, there. Uh, why does I have to do this? There. So just glide on down here. Um. Take out this construct right here. See anything? Okay, see. Not literally. See, I'm gonna grab this mirror shield. Take your mirror shield that you got from killing that construct and aim it at that thing. And then you solve the puzzle and this place will start to open up. 
and once it opens up, you will see that your chest is waiting there, right, like right there for you. Just go ahead and jump up. And open the chest. So this is the Zonate Helm. So now let's get on to where the lightnings are. Okay, so the third piece is located at the Sky Mine above the Rest Peninsula. So you're gonna wanna come to here and activate this little ring right here, but I already did that. And you're probably gonna wanna activate that shrine just in case you fall off. But the little ring is gonna activate these launch thingies. You're gonna wanna launch yourself up a level and then stop by pulling out your paraglider. And if you find any constructs, you're gonna wanna kill them. And then this one is not gonna be lined up the right way, so you're just gonna push it like to the right direction. And then you're gonna hop on and fly. And then once again, take out the constructs and you're Probably gonna want to move this little platform out of the way, so I'm just gonna send up it and then grab the stuff you dropped if you'd like it. I just need the zone charges because I'm very poor on those, and then just use your rocket and then jump off. So then this one's not gonna be pointed the right direction either, so. Push it until it's pointed towards that sphere up there. So I already did this quest, but I did not know that the Zonate armor was there. So just, um, there's gonna be a little hole in the cube. So you just wanna put one of these boxes on, and then it's gonna get launched into the hole if you end it the right way. And then when it gets launched in the hole, it's you're gonna launch yourself. And then you're gonna when you get in, you're gonna grab the like the block with Ultra Hand, and then put it on this orange pressure plate thing. So then after you do that, it's gonna start making the sphere spin. So what you wanna do when the sphere is spinning is you wanna like get on it and then start looking for another hole, which is this hole for me right now. And I'll show you what the pressure plate looked like. So this is the pressure plate right here. You'd put the box right here. And then, uh, what's the way? Okay, I'm trapped. <laughs> So once you get, um, you just probably want to ascend out the roof. So then you have pop out. Then you look for another hole. Uh, maybe here? No, it's the opposite side. Now look for the second hole and then there'll be a chest waiting inside. And that will be your skin guards. And then you can, once you have the full set, you can organize it and put it on. So now I'll show you what happens, like how good this is. Three, two, one. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a side by side comparison on if like, how good this armor is, like how much energy cells will be used while doing a full three laps around my house wearing this armor or three laps wearing no, like not this armor. So play the clips.
So it was not hard to tell which one won. It is the Zonite armor. Because the Zonite armor only used two battery cells. And normal armor, like not Zonite armor, used three and a half. So it's obvious that the Zonite won because it just it helps so much with Zonai builds. So if you ever use Zonai, like if you ever build a Zonai build, make sure that you wear this because it helps a lot. So that's how you get the Zonai armor in Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next video.